I'm working on becoming a better person. I've made a lot of mistakes. I have a lot of things I wish I handled differently growing up, specifically in the last two years. This is my chance to say sorry and share what I wish I would have done. To start, I need to talk about my faults. I'm a horrible person. I don't text back. I drive with one hand on the wheel and sometimes one on my phone. I have a tendency to disappear when life gets overwhelming and by doing so, I've ruined a lot of relationships. I wish I would have been a better friend. I don't think I really knew how, to be honest. I wish I knew a friendship takes almost as much work as my romantic relationship does. And I probably only know how much work a relationship takes because of how I handled my friendships. I wish I understood that friends are only there for you until you are not. I expected them to be there for me, but I wonder how many times I was actually there for them. I got jealous. Once I didn't message a best friend on her birthday because I was so convinced that she had so many better friends in her life than me, that she loved more or who loved her more, that she wouldn't notice my tiny message or care. Her inbox must be flooding. I should have messaged her. Heck, I should have gotten her a fucking cake like so many friends did for me and drive over there with a hug. Instead, I let my anxiety control my actions and convinced myself that she was better off without me. I fretted over stuff nobody else was thinking about. I should have kept my mouth shut about certain things, certain people. A lot of my best friends weren't all from the same group. I was worried about how one friend feared the other, silently judging me on my choices, that I, in turn, talked bad about the person behind their back. As if to make up for what fear was in my head, despite no one ever saying a thing. I was so afraid that my best friend didn't like my other friends because she wasn't friends with them, that I complained about their flaws to her. My head told me that maybe she isn't friends with them for this reason. So I talked about that too. And in the end, my best friend left, afraid of what I might be saying behind her back. And once again, I listened to my anxiety instead of the ones that I loved. I should have stood up for the ones that I cared about. I should have held higher respect for myself and my friends. I should have known that my friends are fucking great and don't frown upon others like that. I shouldn't have said what I did or portrayed certain friends a certain way because in the end, I lost them both. I should have reached out when they needed me, instead of playing the, well, she didn't respond to this message game. When my friend messaged me at two in the morning in all caps because she got crossfaded for the first time and felt anxious, my first instinct should have been to call her. Instead, I put the phone down, almost annoyed that to me, it sounded like she was bragging. Because here I was, alone in my dorm for an entire school year, and jealous that she seemed to make friends instantaneously to moving into her dorm. And now, she's smoking and drinking and being everything we'd never believe that we'd become. We didn't talk for days. Until finally, she reached out again, when she shouldn't have had to, to explain how she was upset at me for not responding. I explained myself, and she understood for the most part, but we didn't talk much after that. We only saw each other one more time, months later, while home on break. It's been two years now, and I haven't seen her since. I should have texted her. I'm working on becoming a better person, more specifically, a better friend. I don't have many left, but those that are in my life, I'm learning that I can't take them for granted. I'm learning that you need to show someone you value them in more than one way. And you have to make time and put in effort to get the results that you want. Now, I message everyone and anyone on their birthday. The majority don't respond. And maybe my anxiety was right, that they wouldn't care or notice my tiny message. But those that do, I hope they see that I am trying. That I am trying to be a better friend and to show them that I care and love them. I respond to messages mostly right away, and never leave someone at two in the morning who is high, or drunk, or even sober. I try to always respond, even if it takes days. And despite being a legendary sleeper inner, I am always willing to set my alarm to 8 a.m. if that means getting breakfast with someone I love. 
And sometimes, I'm the one suggesting it. I understand that friendships take time, and I do my best to make a lot of it. I went from having the largest social circle of my life, one that looking back at, I see how hard I worked to achieve, to now the smallest it's ever been. You'll learn that college can be a lonely time. And now more than ever, I see that I must salvage and save those friendships that I still do have. People are to be valued. Their feelings are valid and they are important. Show them or they will leave. I had a hard time growing up. I went through a lot of ugly shit and my friends knew most of it, or at least what I could fathom sharing. I, to say the least, was hard to deal with. It's hard to love. It was hard being friends with me. I had friends that came up and told me that they couldn't do it anymore and left. I had people say that they couldn't keep up. I had friends say that I needed help and walked away. I felt afraid and broken and sad. I lost friends due to my mental illness and that's something I can never get back. My bipolar had robbed me of so much and I didn't even know that I had it yet. And ultimately, I blamed the loss of my friends and how I treated them so poorly on my mental illness. I was so in my head that I wasn't there for me. Instead, I was telling myself that they loved others more, that they wouldn't notice my birthday message or care about it, that since they didn't respond for two hours, I won't respond for two days. It made me jealous and lonely and upset. Upset that they had a seemingly perfect family and parents that would pay for things mine never would think of supporting. My bipolar made me an outgoing, adventurous, and giddy girl one day, and a moody, gloomy downer the next. I went from wanting to recover and get help, to texting my friend the very next day that I swallowed a bunch of pills. It was exhausting. I get it. I don't blame those that did leave for leaving. I blame myself. I was not the greatest person the greatest friend. I could have been better. I'm working on being better. A better person, a better friend. I send letters in the mail. I text. I FaceTime. I offer to get brunch, dinner, anything. I'm learning that inclusivity is better than exclusivity. And that just because you didn't talk in high school doesn't mean you can't talk now. I'm learning that people need space and that even though you haven't talked in years, they will most likely not be upset if you message them with something to say. Almost two years since losing my best friend, I got the chance to talk to her. We established that we love each other, always will, and that we are still always there for one another. Actually, she said all that first. I was too afraid. Unsure what was okay to say after understanding why she stopped being my best friend. But she said it. I was surprised and so relieved. So I've learned a lot and still am. But overall, I'm trying my best to be a better person and work on what's fading all too quickly. Friendships. Woo! We did it! Guys, this took so long to film. I am so happy that I finished and I feel like it went really well. I also have to leave my glasses on because now I'm blind. So here's a side you've never seen of me. Basically, I wrote this a couple months ago and it's a combination of a lot of thoughts that I was going through, a lot of different friendships that had either ended for good or had pause placed on them and started back up again. I had a lot of different ghosts from my past. I didn't really know what to do with all those feelings, so I just wrote it out. I have three and a half pages full of me saying that I want to become a better person. This was in my journal and I looked it over and thought, hey, this would make a wonderful video. This would make a great script for a message about something that other people might relate to and might benefit from. I just want to clarify that when I say friend in the script, I am talking about a multiple amount of people. So if you found yourself being one of those friends, first of all, I love you. And second of all, I hope that you weren't concerned that when I mentioned another friend later on that that was still you in case you didn't want it to be. I don't know. I just have a fear that when I reference real people in my life that I'm no longer close to so I can't tell them directly that they might have negative thoughts about something that I'm sharing and this is supposed to be all positive thoughts. 
positive vibes, vibes only. <laughs> There's not much else to say about the message of this video because I hope that I showed it clearly throughout my performance demonstration and what I said. I just hope that you enjoyed and please, please, please leave a like and comment down below if you did because these types of creative videos that I make receive the least amount of engagement and thumbs up and it's really discouraging because I want to share the side of me in my passion of like YouTube and I do it as much for me as it is for you but it's sad when I see something that I uploaded that took not even half as long as this video is going to take and it receives a lot better feedback. Does that make sense? If you're a YouTuber you'll get that but just please if you love this video you have got to let me know so I can keep making these without having my social blade go down. But thank you so so much for watching. I just want to say to everybody that I was once friends with that I may have lost that I still think about you and I only have good things to say and I would really love to catch up if you are up for it. Also if only you could see the setup that I have right now like it's literally my bed sheet. I don't know if that was clear by all of the waves in it but YouTuber on a budget. <laughs> I'm currently in New York City when you're watching this. So be sure that you are following me on my socials to check out all my updates while I'm in the Big Apple. I cannot believe that I'm there. I've waited so long to go back and during the holiday season too which is just crazy. Anyway I will see you guys on Thursday with a brand new video. Bye! Signing out from KK in glasses, hair up, and no makeup on. Wow, only my vlog channel usually gets to see the side of me. Bye guys. Grout fit! Okay, now I'm gone. <laughs> I'm learning that inclusivity is better than exclusivity. Blah.